gun meme review what is up you sexy youtube mother lovers we are back for your favorite all right for an internet show we have kind of a lot to cover so i'm just gonna jump right into it on this one flavor of the week black cherry first up california freedom week part two electric well you know so the Ninth Circuit Court came in clutch for all of the California folks out there. They deemed that California's magazine restrictions were unconstitutional. Where have you been? The Second Amendment didn't say that you have the right to keep and bear arms until the magazine count is higher than what you can count on your fingers. Anyway, huge win for California folks. People immediately went all over the internet, started buying those sweet 30 round magazines. But as many people were expecting, there was a stay put on that decision. And uh, while we're in limbo, there is an ass load of pre-orders on California boys getting 30 round magazines. So that's awkward, but I'm not here for the politics. Bring on the memes. Ninth Circuit ends California ban on high capacity magazines. Looks like drum magazines are back on the menu, boys. That's right, we're skipping the 30 round mags going straight to the drums. Kind of like a fat chick after trying two weeks on keto. Breaking news, California magazines floating ashore. High capacity magazines from thousands of boating accidents found. Well, uh, that's awkward now. <laughs> but yeah, now that there's been a massive California panic buy to try to get in on Freedom Week 2.0, supplies and retailers across the country are now in even worse shape than they were before, which means, ah, uh, I picked a really good time for the AK factory buy. And speaking of the AK factory buy, I would like to take a brief moment and thank one of our sponsors that makes all of this happen, your favorite, Raid Shadow Legends. I know you've probably heard of this game by now, but let me tell you why, in terms of gameplay, it is the deepest and most complex mobile game around. With 500 champions to collect, each with their own skills and millions of artifacts to find and equip, no two champions will ever be the same. Kind of like, I'll never be the same after we tried Company Taco Tuesday. That makes for literally trillions of ways to build your teams and endless strategies for you to figure out for yourself. One of my personal favorite strategies is finding one and maybe two characters that I want to just make absolutely unkillable. Level them up like crazy and then have them carry my whole team. But the best part is you get to find out your favorite strategy on your own. In the last couple of weeks, they've added a load of new updates, so let's just dive in. First, they've just added champion fragments, which let you collect pieces that you can use to summon specific champions, with a special event running right now to get an amazing Krilo Witch Arm. It ends August 28th, so don't wait around. There's also a new bazaar where you could load up on high value items with the gold bars you win in Tag Arena. And they just extended the daily login rewards up to 270 days with free champions available just for logging in. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the specific links, and if you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver plus an energy refill, plus 10 mystery shards, plus a free champion, Slasher. All this, of course, will be waiting for you here, but only for the next 30 days. So good luck, and I'll see you there. So thanks again to Raid for not letting me get my kneecaps broken by Ivan the Debt Collector. Let's get back into the memes. Imagine being in California super stoked about the Supreme Court ruling, so you run home and slam a 30 round magazine into this abomination. Yeah, yeah. But the precedent is a good one. If they can go back on the 30 round mag ban, it's a good direction. I call it a win for us anytime they're reeling back restrictions instead of making more. Because if things kept going the trajectory they were a couple of years ago, you could go to jail for a gun-shaped Pop-Tart. It's Freedom Week, LOL. I bought a 30-round mag. <laughs> Californians who drove to Nevada to smuggle in large capacity magazine years ago. Yeah, tell the cartels we don't want like heroin and cocaine anymore. Like the United States is done with that, I think. If they could put all that energy into bringing high capacity magazines into California, they'd be making a lot more money right now. Hey, can we like stop building the wall just long enough to arm California? Thanks. So if I'm gonna rate the California memes, I rate it a 10. Those are currently the highest capacity magazines they can buy. Now that we've burned California, wait, they do that themselves. Now that we've roasted California, we can roast the rest of us. Ammo prices suck because of the Rona and uh, you know, all of the peaceful protesting. There's been a huge spike in new gun owners, which is fantastic. There's also been a run on ammo suppliers and anywhere you can buy guns, ammo and gun accessories like Big Daddy Unlimited. That part is predictable, but it's not great. As a result, supply is down and demand is skyrocketed. So nine millimeter that used to be 16 cents a round is now for sale for like 40. And to all of you international folks, yes, we do treat ammunition like an exchange rate. Listen, kid, I don't have much time. 
The only retailer selling ammo for fair prices is... F for Harambe. How did the end of the world start, Dad? Well, you see, Timmy, 2016, they shot the fucking gorilla. This is how ammo is sold now. Crying face. Those are the little baggies of 9mm I pass out to friends when they ask to shoot my machine guns. Here's six rounds, don't spend it all in one place. It's for a lot. Depends on the context. Pellets of 7.62? No. Boxes of 9mm? Yes. Who would have ever seen it coming that 9mm would be twice the price of 7.62 by 39? Who would have thought? Not me. Me, ranting about tyranny with my gun store homie for two hours. My girlfriend who thought this was going to be a quick visit. The only quick visits I have are with my girlfriend. <laughs> Buying a gun from arms list at the asking price. Haggling and meeting in the middle. Make lowball offers from multiple email addresses until they agree to the price you actually wanted to pay. Keep flagging their ads as scam from different IP addresses until they're desperate for money and relist for a super cheap price for a quick sale. Stonks. A warning shot doesn't go to the face, Carl! Is this loss? So the state of the world tells me that this is probably Portland, but that tactical umpire uniform tells me Eastern Europe. Girls with a time machine. I'm a granddaughter. Really? Boys with a time machine. Also include barrel length, rate of fire, and accessories. It becomes more relevant, trust me. One of my favorite facts about the Founding Fathers is that a couple of them were like super interested in developing small arms technology. Like a few of them owned prototypes for like crazy crank like 32 shot weapons and things like that. Like air rifles of all sort. Like they were not only fanatics about guns, but they were like interested in new technology when they wrote that. So anybody who tells you that they didn't know firearms technology was going to improve, uh, grab a history book. Okay, now take it in your hands, bite it. Please do not pet the radioactive puppies of Chernobyl. Bleat. Sad stalker is sad. Fuck, that makes me sad. I promise I won't get too crazy tonight. Three drinks later. Man in homemade tank destroys small town. Well, look at my wrist. It's time to talk about Killdozer. If you haven't seen, they've added a new documentary on Netflix called Tread. This recounts the actions of Marvin Hemeyer and uh, the rampage through Granby, Colorado that became forever known as the Legend of Killdozer. Basically the TLDR for those who haven't seen the movie, don't have Netflix, and can't possibly be bothered to look up Wikipedia. A potentially unhinged man is fucked over several times by a small town in Colorado's city council, and he takes matters into his own hands. And by taking matters into his own hands, of course, I mean he built a goddamn tank out of a Komatsu D355A bulldozer and proceeded to level the places of business of several city council members that he deemed wronged him. Now, I'm not saying this to condone the actions of Mr. Hemeyer, but he has grown to be somewhat of a uh, urban folk hero and kind of the embodiment of what happens when you push a good man too far. Or as the saying goes, sometimes reasonable men must do unreasonable things. All right, now that history class is over, to the memes. Now, I'm gonna be a hipster about this. I put Killdozer on Gun Meme Review before Netflix. June 4th, 2004. Happy Killdozer Day, everyone. But now that it's in the spotlight again, let's go through some Killdozer memes. God, I've waited a while to do this. The Virgin Unabomber. Anne Prim. Targets innocence. Damages but a single building. Attacks some irrelevant city in the Midwest. Mails bombs, too afraid to come out and deal damage himself. The Chad Killdozer. Only attacks those in power who ruined his life. Builds and pilots his own destruction machine. Kills self, not allowing government the pleasure of taking the little life they left him with. Damages and destroys many buildings belonging to his town's corrupt government. Another interesting fact about Killdozer. During the entire rampage through Granby, Colorado, he didn't kill a single person. He only specifically targeted the buildings that belonged to the city council members that he thought ruined his life over a period of about 10 years. And, uh, I'll say he got his point across. I'll say, 16 years later, after a Netflix special, believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Nike. Ugh, just saw the bottom right hand corner. Just do it. Nike, I don't know what you're suggesting, but I don't like it. Or do I? Where do you see yourself in five years? Me. Man in homemade tank destroys. Hey, this is the same meme. Also, is it really that hard in 2020 to spell out Y O U? You see yourself? We're not savages. Well, we are. Not in that way. The virgin looter. 
Doesn't believe in anything, just wants free stuff. Has plenty to live, just loots for the hell of it. Destroys businesses that did nothing to him. Does unreasonable things for the hell of it. Will be forgotten in a few years. Oh my god, I'm looting. Can't handle rubber bullets. The Chad Hemeyer. Constructs a near impenetrable vehicle in his garage. Only retaliates when his life was completely destroyed. Would require a Hellfire missile to stop. Reasonable man doing unreasonable things. Only destroys businesses and people's property that personally wronged him. Basically a modern folk hero. 100% God approved mission. Yeah, so if you haven't seen the documentary yet or you are unfamiliar with the story, this dude armored the shit out of this thing. We're not talking about a couple of steel plates. Apparently he had steel plates lining this thing and then a gap and then more like half inch steel plates. And then he poured concrete in between the steel plates. Might be important to remember this guy was a professional welder. There wasn't even viewports. He actually just saw out of cameras that he had linked to monitors and a gas valve where he could blow uh, compressed gas to remove the debris from in front of the cameras. I'll say for crazy dude, he had his shit together. Check on your friends. Some of them may need help welding. And all of that brings me around to the prompt for this gun meme review. I've been looking all over. Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Craigslist, for a bulldozer. I think it would be really cool to do a series on the channel, Building Killdozer 2.0. Obviously with no malicious intent behind it. You hope. But honestly, it is very cool what the Killdozer has come to symbolize, kind of a tread on those who tread on you situation. So I think it'd be really cool trying to build a killdozer, up armor, a bulldozer, big tracked, basically improvised tank. I think that would be pretty cool. Anyway, I wanted to hear your thoughts about it. If you think that would be cool for the channel, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And if you're selling a bulldozer, go ahead and let me know. I think it'd be a cool series. So let me know what you think about it down in the comments. And I think that is this gun meme review coming to an end. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you have your own suggestions, leave them on Instagram with the hashtag Gun meme review. Hashtag AKG notification squad is a thing down in the comments if you're here in the first hour. And I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Bye. And while you have that history book, uh, go ahead and look at a couple of photos of Alexander Hamilton. Notice anything different? By taking matters into his own hands, I mean, of course, he up-armored a cum- uh, fuck, let me say that again. By taking matters into his own hands, of course, I mean, he built a goddamn tank out of a Komatsu D355A bulldozer and proceeded to mow over the places of business from city council members he think wronged him. He think- fuck, I- god fucking damn it, that was so close. By taking matters into his own hands of- <clears throat> I can do this. By the power of claw. By taking matters into his own hands, of course, I mean. He built a goddamn tank out of a Komatsu D3. Fuck. By taking matters into his own hands, of course, I mean he uh, built a goddamn tank out of a Komatsu 355A bulldozer and proceeded to level several buildings belonging to Siddle. Fuck! Oh, I'm so close! And by taking matters into his own. <sighs> And by taking matters into his own hands, of course, I mean, he built a goddamn tank out of a Komatsu D-355. I got it fucking perfect the first time. And by taking matters into his own hands, of course, I mean, he built a goddamn tank out of, ah, uh, And by taking matters into his own hands, of course, I mean, he built a goddamn tank out of a Komatsu D-355A bulldozer and proceeded to level the houses of several city council members that he deemed wronged him. There we go! That wasn't that fucking hard! Fuck me! And by taking matters into his own hands, of course, I mean he built a goddamn tank out of a Komatsu D-350... Thrifty? Tree fitty. Tree fitty five. All right. I got this. I promise I do. I'm sorry for the so much fucking footage you gotta sort through. And by taking matters into his own hands, of course, I mean he built a goddamn tank out of a Komatsu D-thrift-
And by taking matters into his own hands, of course, I mean he built a goddamn tank out of a Komatsu D355A and proceeded to level the houses. Fuck! <laughs> it's over. We'll get it next time. <laughs> Mission failed. And by taking matters into his own hands, of course, I mean he built a goddamn tank out of a Komatsu D355A bulldozer and proceeded to level the places of business of several city council members that he deemed wronged him. There it was, bitch! All right. All right, break. No. <laughs> I've been looking a lot on eBay and Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. And Grindr. <laughs>